Here's a video of us preparing an ichthyosaur paddle, or also called a flipper. Each ichthyosaur would have four of these, and this is one of the front paddles. This is what an ichthyosaur looked like. It's a large marine reptile. Looks a bit like a dolphin, however they aren't actually related. And the age of the specimen we're preparing is about 180 million years old from the lower Jurassic. I'll just draw on here the actual part of the creature which we are going to be preparing. It's a pretty big paddle and it was found in quite a few pieces and we've managed to start piecing it together and in this video we'll show the rest of the process of piecing it together as well as preparing it. Pretty unique video, we've not really made a video like this before but if people do enjoy preparation videos we can make some more in the future as well. Let's have a look at the paddle now as it stands before we start to prepare it. And then we'll get into having a look at the piecing together of the paddle and start removing the rock from it to expose the bones underneath. Here's a look at the paddle so far. A few tool marks where we've removed some of the shale already. Other than that, there's a f quite a thin film of shale covering all the bones still so the bones will look a lot nicer when we remove all of that there's also quite a few more digits to attach to make the paddle or flipper probably around this length a few of the digits are loose a few of them are clumped together so we'll reconstruct it it's quite a difficult process we have to refer to like books and things to make sure it's like anatomically correct but it's definitely something we'll be able to do and then we will remove all this stone as well so, quite a lot of work to get on with, but the finished products will be really good. It will be something very nice to add to our collection. The first thing for us to do is to start to assemble it. We've managed to get it into three pretty large pieces, which can all be glued together. And then there's also extra loose digits, which we can piece back on as well. You can make out the shape of some of the bones, however, as you can see, they're all covered in a thin layer of rock, and this is something that we will be removing later in the video. The places that we are gluing the extra digits on are the places where they were actually found when they were fossilised. We could take them and glue them in different places to make it as anatomically correct as possible. We felt to leave it as natural as we could. The paddle itself is also pretty well articulated in any case. If it was a total scattering of bones, then we could maybe piece it together correctly however it's quite nice just to leave it naturally like this the exact way it was preserved There's a few more loose digits to glue back in place. And then we also have some pieces of shale with bigger paddle digits in, which we will remove from the shale and then glue on. After that, the paddle will be 
glued together, all the bones that we have, we can start to begin to remove the rock away from the bones. We've managed to free the rest of the bones from the shale. We'll piece the paddle together so you can see how it looks now we've got all of the bones glued back in place and then we can remove the shale from the bones. We've already started on part of it but we can continue more of it as well so you can have a look. We're going to use air abrasives to remove the thin layer of shale from the bones. The air abrasive will blast out tiny little particles, a little bit like sand, and very carefully remove away this thin layer of shale. It's a very time consuming process, we'll show some footage of us doing it now and then we'll get on with the rest of it over the next few days and then we'll show you what the finished fossil looks like. Here's the paddle before we did a lot more abrasive work to it. I've got a few other little clips to show and then we'll have a look at the final paddle, the finished result.
It took quite a few more hours of work to get the piece actually finished. It was definitely worth the effort and time and it's one of our favourite pieces in our collection by far. If you would like one of your own ammonite fossils to open up yourself at home or if you would like a display specimen drop my brother a message on his instagram and he'll get back to you as soon as he can thank you in advance for supporting our channel Here's the finished ichthyosaur paddle, perfectly revealed, all of that thin layer of shale has now been completely removed and we've protected a lot of the bones with a thin coating. The bone quality is pretty exceptional, all the bones are preserved fully 3D, most of them still in place. Although the paddle isn't complete, it's still Pretty near complete, just missing a bit of the back of the paddle and of course the limb bone which would have attached. This is by far the biggest paddle specimen that we have. We're incredibly pleased and proud to have it. It's taken many, many years of fossil hunting before we've come across something quite as impressive as this. It was a brilliant day finding it. Thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.